Hello, trainers. What is this? Hello, everybody. We are understanding the concept of iteration today. If we have to repeat the same set of instruction multiple time, so it means we are repeating something. It means it is iterating. For example, we have to clean a dish after a family dinner. We will take dish, go to the sink, wash it out, and then dry it off. If it is one time, that is not a possible. But if you have a large number of family, you have six to seven members, you have to perform the same action up to six to seven times. It's obviously more boring and more annoying as well. And we will set a robot to say clean all dishes. So it won't be understandable language for a robot. Obviously, it will understand a coding word. If you write a code uh, to clean the dish, but for a six uh, time, I have to write the same code up to six time. It means uh, that I am repeating writing of code. I want to avoid this repetition. So what I will do to avoid this repetition, I will use loop. Loop help us to make our program shorter. In this way, we can save our a lot of our time and uh, uh, there will be a less chances of error as well uh, with the help of uh, using loop okay the, so you can see that loop is a third part of a flow control structure here i would like to pause this video that uh, what is a what does it mean okay loop make us uh, our dry code help us to make our dry code dry dry means don't repeat yourself that we don't need to repeat ourselves if the code is not dry and we have to repeat and we have to uh, write same instruction over and over over again it consume a lot of our time and there is a uh, chances of error as well so loop may help us to make our code shorter and save our code from the mistakes we can save in this way we can save our program from the mistakes a lot of mistakes in javascript language that we can write a code like this and uh, uh, we can write a code like this and we just put this code behind this looper you can see in the in this picture that there are two types of arrow right and up so we have set this uh, looper up to two times let's see in a loop we have set this looper and we have put the code behind this we have put the right up right up as you see saw that uh, i had to move someone right up right up so in first condition i don't need to repeat so our code is dry but in second condition our code is not dried anymore we had to repeat the same set of arrows or, or same set of instruction multiple time this is a game for you that you can solve out uh, in this uh, game what we will do we have to move uh, uh, move a ball so we will use obviously arrows so we have to use one two three four three up to three times so what we will do instead of using arrows up to six times or three times we will put this looper and we set the counter here up to three times it will set automatically in this way we are drying our code our code is dry you can see the ball is going up to three times we have we are moving our ball up to three times and it is moving by itself we don't need to write these arrows multiple times okay hope you will understand about it best of luck